Hello everybody. In this video I will talk about the feel of the human body and how you can experience um, strange effects from it that you may not know. And this has also to do with this anti-gravity device that I showed in earlier videos. So to start off this device basically makes anti-gravity like effects. If you, move, if you move it just in the air in certain angles or curves or also just down like this. And the effect will get stronger if you do it in a certain curved pattern like this. If you come down in an angle against any object. And yeah, I basically dis um, discovered when I made this devices a strange effect, meaning that um, when I played with just the arrays that I use for this devices, and yeah, I did tests like this, just without the copper reflector, and I noticed that I also, when I make the same movements, where I feel an effect like this with the array or with the device, and I just do the same with the array, I feel kind of the same effects, maybe a bit weaker, but I do feel them. And then I've taken just the copper reflector, here I have a slightly bigger one, but it doesn't matter. And if I just take the copper reflector and do the same, I can also slightly feel it. And this wasn't there from the beginning. This took some time. I discovered this like eight months ago. And yeah, I actually never talked about it because a lot of people think this is not possible or this is nonsense. And yeah, I understand this because before I discovered this, I maybe also would have thought the same. But yeah, if you want to believe me, I'm telling the truth. So there is this, what I'm telling you is actually real and I think everyone can learn it. And basically what I think is happening is that um, the effect is when you just take this copper reflect alone and you do this movements and notice this is a parabolic reflector and you do this you get the effects and yeah I thought this can't be the reflector alone if you just take a piece of copper and move it that you feel this effect then what I also tried is I took this array and um, took just the plastic part of it meaning there were no magnets in it and also did the same and I also noticed some effects and I thought this was just a piece of plastic it can't be and yeah I still felt it <laughs> which was highly strange to me and this made me very interested in this thing so I did further tests with other copper reflectors and it finally led me to the point of discovering when for example I, yeah let's just take this magnet array and when i take a copper reflector and move it along it it should be obvious that you feel a repulsion effect when moving it like magnets and copper are repelling maybe know that and then I just, at one moment, I don't know why, I just um, placed my fingers like this, in a position like this, like this mudras, just the thumb and my middle finger touching like this, and I made the same movements like I did with the copper reflectors, and interestingly, I got the same effect. 
just with my fingers when holding nothing in my hand. And I did this above the many magnets or magnet arrays and also bigger ones and there you can feel it even better and yeah basically what I want to tell you with this is that you can train your body that it focuses the electric field of the body to a certain point and what I think is you creating uh, yeah, a coherency or alignment of the field from the human body right here and this is why it's yeah it's like a polarization of the field and that's why you feel a repulsion or attraction when you move in certain angles and then I the more I tested this I noticed if I just do this over a copper reflector itself it also works and yeah the more I tested this um, I came to the conclusion that it works all the time no matter where and what I don't need to do it against any objects I can just do this in air by just making like yeah circular movements it's not perfectly circular it's more like elliptical and then it is like and this path up here I get repelled and on this path down here it's getting attracted and this is kind of the movements I do and I feel repulsions and attractions just like with this anti-gravity device where basically everyone can feel something I've given this to other persons and they feel it too if they make the movements correct so I think this is the perfect introduction into learning this ability because I think everyone can learn this ability for themselves it's just like riding a bike at first it seems impossible but when you yeah, first do it and <laughs> know how to balance it you don't even have to think about it afterwards and it's kind of the same here and I think this is what uh, yeah if you look at the eastern parts of the world and these monks and they, with, they, they also train their body their whole life and they I think call it chi or prana or life energy in the western world it's more known as organ or life energy and I think this is basically dielectricity or the electric field or the dielectric part of it from the body itself and yeah the same as when you just move your fingers you're sending or you manipulating the human field or the field of the human body when you do this you could also say you are sending an electric signal but if you think what is an electric signal it's just the field itself being manipulated or moved or disturbed and yeah it's normal for us that we move our fingers for example we are moving the field or manipulating the field of the human body or as others call it sending electric signals but you actually don't have to move your body parts or fingers and still can um, manipulate, manipulate the field by creating like a circuit like this so yeah this is I think the most scientific explanation I can give you for it because I can assure you this works and yeah I'm not telling you any nonsense and yeah maybe someone out there will find this interesting and can learn this too and maybe this knowledge spreads this way because yeah I, I don't know any other person that ever talked about this so maybe also for reasons <laughs> but 
yeah, if you have questions about these topics, let me know and I will try to answer them as best as I can. And yeah, I think that's it for this explanation. Maybe there will be a part two of it. So thanks for watching and goodbye.